I was thinking, how do I respond to that? Because, yeah, you're going to get a response, Yoko. And I thought about putting a, a glass plate in front of the video camera. And I mean, I seriously thought about doing this. I'm waiting for you to do your diatribe and then spitting at the camera. I can't think of any other appropriate response. You know, one of the things I've always found really interesting uh, about YouTube is that you, you watch the material that people put out there and you react to it. And then you can go back and watch video responses to that material and see people reacting in very different ways to that same material. Um, and that, of course, is what happened today. That's why I'm making this video. I'm making this video response to a guy named Phil Hellenes, who you just heard. Um, he's a guy that I've subscribed to for quite some time here on YouTube. Uh, always makes thought-provoking videos. Always great shit. Uh, I never find myself uh, disappointed in a Phil Hellenes video. Um, but I had a very different reaction than he had to the Yoke Up video he's talking about. And yes, I know, I've spent a lot of time on Yoke Up recently. I don't know what to tell you. Deal with it. <laughs> Let me get it out of my system, and I'll move on. <laughs> Apparently it's not out yet. Um, now, I had a very different reaction, and I, I want to make this clear. I'm not diminishing uh, in any way Phil Helene's response. And there's, a, uh, I'm sure, a lot of people angry about the latest Yoke Up, uh, Yoke Up video. The anger is not lost on me. It's just not how I reacted, and I wanted to talk about how I reacted to that. And in fact, it dredged up something that I wanted to talk about quite some time ago. I think it was like last summer, somebody sent me a PM asking me to make a video where I rant and rave about the Westboro Baptist people. And I actually sat down and made a video, and when I got to the end of it, I didn't really like the video, and I was like, ah, you know, the Westboro Baptist shit has been done to death, and I never uploaded it. Uh, but the sentiment of that video is something I've always wanted to have a reason to get across, and I had a very similar reaction to Yoke Up's video. Uh, you know, th that reaction is very similar to the reaction that I have when I see the Westboro people. Um, you know, whenever I hear a Christian spewing out unadulterated hatred, um, and let's make no, no bones about it, this Yoke Up video, that's what he does. He calls, uh, you know, gays and lesbians, atheists, agnostics, pretty much anybody that doesn't uh, subscribe to or live up to the standards of his particular brand of religion. He calls them human garbage. Uh, just <laughs> coming right out there saying it there. <laughs> human garbage dumps, human garbage piles. And before you go and make an angry comment on his video, not to dissuade you from doing that because he certainly deserves them, but uh, just know that he backs that up with scripture all the way. And I'll let you go watch his video. Uh, I'm not going to rehash the whole fucking scriptural, uh, but l just, just let it be known that those words are right there in the Bible. Uh, human garbage. Uh, you know, tossed in a heap and allowed to wither and dry out, and then you burn them. Uh, that's, that's exactly what Yoke Up said. And, of course, that's something that's a very vile and despicable thing to say, and I can understand the anger. But whenever I hear something like that coming out of a Christian in a public way, it just puts a big fucking grin on my face. It puts a smile from ear to ear on me, and let me tell you why. Yoke Up and the Westboro Baptist people are doing something that I, as an atheist, in my position as an atheist here on YouTube, uh, you know, I'm vocal, I've got just under 6,000 subscribers, they are doing something that I could never accomplish from my position. They are shining a fucking spotlight on everything that is dirty and depraved and disgusting and wrong about Christianity. And they're doing it from the inside. Okay, these are Christians from the inside out. You know, here in America, uh, Christianity is a very schmaltzy thing. And Phil Hellenes talks about this in his video. He calls it the, uh, the fluffy God. And uh, that rings very true. Uh, I think that uh, a lot of Christians, uh, the, the fluffier aspects of Christianity, the schmaltzy Christianity appeals to a lot of Christians. This idea that, you know, God loves you and wants to embrace you and he wants good things for you. And he's this warm, caring thing. Uh, I think that appeals to a lot of people. I think that that fills a void for some people. Uh, the, the problem is, is that if you dig through that fluff, what you find isn't nearly as pretty. It's not nearly as fluffy. What you find is basically this beating heart of Christianity that, that, that's made of 100% unadulterated hate. There's no other way to put it, and it's just beating away, beating away, just 100% hatred. And any time a Christian comes out in a very public way and shows off what lies underneath that, that very thick, plush, 
you know, huggy skin that Christianity hides behind. It makes me fucking smile because I can't do that for my position. At least I can't do that anywhere near as well as Yoke Up can as a Christian or as the Westboro Baptist people can with a picket sign. You understand what I'm saying? So, uh, while once again, I want to make it really clear that I'm not diminishing Phil Helene's response or anybody else's response to this. I get the anger. I understand the anger. I just don't react that way to it. In fact, Yoke Up got five stars from me on, on, on that video. I, I want to encourage him to continue to make shit like that. In fact, I hope he turns his whole channel into that. I hope he never makes a goofy old me and Yoke Up and Caroline with squeaky voices and a weird dude with camera effect on. <laughs> I hope he never does one of those again. I hope his entire channel becomes this hate-filled fucking bile. And I hope he does it every day, 24 hours a day. I hope the Westboro Baptist people pick at every dead soldier's funeral that they can possibly make it to. And I hope that every major news network gives them carte blanche coverage, round-the-clock coverage of that shit. I want a spotlight on this, okay? And nobody does it like a Christian. So yoke up if you watch this, and I notice that you're no longer accepting video responses from old Paul's ego, and that, that hurt my heart, brother. But uh, in case you do see this, keep up the fucking good work, man. I Seriously, two thumbs up, five stars. I hope you I, just keep hammering home that good news. Keep hammering home that good, hateful news, brother. You're doing so much better than I could ever do from my position. <laughs> anyway, uh, once again, everybody, peace. And yoke up, peace. But not too much peace. In fact, everybody else, peace. Yoke up, a nice spoonful of hate. A nice piping hot spoonful of hate grits with butter. Mm-hmm.